Here is how to listen to voicemails with iSymphony. First, you see the listing, or actually the tab voicemail up here. It then lists all the voicemails that are in your box. The ones that are dark, darker or bold, have not been listened to yet. It shows you the caller ID if there is one, the number that it was associ associated with, then of course your own extension, the duration of the vo uh, voice message, the time when it was left, and then you can click on this button here to uh, listen to it. Next one is to call back. This icon here with the envelope allows you to forward this message to another extension in the system. And then, of course, the X deletes it. So let's look how this works. So you can see here is a message from Florida. 727-539-7428. Let's listen to it. So you click on this listen to button. Your phone will ring and you answer the call. Hey, uh, Tim, this is John over Tech Data. I'm calling today to let you know about some uh, promotional funds we've got going on for some of our uh, Intel. Oh, that's a salesman. Oh, let's delete it. So we'll click on delete. Do you want to delete it? Yes. Gone. Next. Let's look at something that's more important. For instance, um, here's another message, toll free. I'll click on that button. Right there. That's the call. Hey Tim, this is Joe Stay with Dell Computers and just give me a call back if I just That's right, Dino do need to talk to him, so right now I've got to go into twenty one. I'm gonna I know what that is about, so I am going to call him back. So I'm going to click on this button here. My phone will ring. I answer it. And then it'll make a connection. Thank you for calling Dell's small and medium business, giving you the power to do more. You're there calling you go. Or if I wanted to forward this to somebody else in the system, I'll just click on the forward. I can send it to everybody by check marking this one here and it'll send it to everybody but I'm not that mean so I'm gonna take the checkbox off click on that one right there and maybe send it to Chris over there actually Anne Marie she needs this message she needs to hear from Dell so we'll click on OK and boom it's in her mailbox so that is a brief overview as to what, how the voicemail functionality works in iSymphony. Thanks for watching.